Hello Cancers and welcome to the Angel Cooperative channel. My name is Liza Mariani and I'm here to do your monthly tarot horoscope for December 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, and also, I just want to remind you that you should also check out your other signs in your chart and see those videos as well, um, because this is a general reading and may not resonate with everyone. Um, it's impossible to connect with each and every cancer um, that's out there, and that's why there's other energies in your chart, and sometimes those messages may um, carry a lot of weight for you this, this month. All right, so let's see what we have coming in for Cancer, the month of December 2019. Okay. We have the um, Eight of Pentacles reversed, the Six of Swords, the Three of Cups, the Page of Swords, the Five of Swords, the Two of Cups, the Hermit, and the King of Cups. All right. And your overall energy this month is the Knight of Wands. Wow, well, that's exciting energy, especially for this month. Um, and of course, Cancer, I do feel like there is going to be some, a, a lot of celebration this month. It's going to really feel really good. And you're actually going to be feeling pretty good about yourself um, this month. So let's also get in some further clarification for Cancer for the month of December. And we have the Fortuna card. How beautiful. I love the energy that you guys are bringing in for this month. Um, I'm also going to pull a few runes um, to give other messages and clarifications for what Cancer needs to know for this month. Give me the blank rune. Let's see what this is. A fertility rune. And the warrior room. Awesome. Okay, so let's dig into your reading um, with the the Knight of Wands. Um, I love this card because this is your energy this month, Cancer. It's like you're going after like the your fortune. It's like you're going after it. Um, it's like you're getting on this horse and you're ready to take off and go after this. Um, it's exciting energy. Um, it might even be where you're going to be traveling. Um, I, I do feel like because this is um, the Knight of Wands, it's also about movement. Um, and energy that comes with movement is also traveling. So I do feel like you could be traveling this month. You could be um, actually taking maybe a vacation or um, traveling to visit others because, yes, it is the holiday season. Um, this month is... Um, a very festive month, especially when there's usually a lot of travel going on in December because um, a lot of people go to visit other family members that they don't see throughout the year. So um, also that could be what's coming into play for you, um, which is exciting, but it's also could even be just that you're I'm going to have this excitement this month. It's going to be a lot of um, celebrations and a lot of being around others and um, reconnecting with people, um, having fun. And also just, you know, it's just the holiday spirit that just rubs off on everybody where everyone just feels this um, feeling of love and centeredness. Um, we also have the Eight of Pentacles reversed. So I do feel like you guys could even be, um, yes, taking some time off, um, not working as hard this month. This is going to be a month of kind of, you know, putting in some effort, but I don't feel like you're going to be, um, you know, putting in 100% because I do feel like there's going to be some things that are possibly travel. It's going to be taking you away um, from 
putting in like, you know, putting your nose to the grindstone. And that's why this is reversed. I, I do feel like it's like you're taking a little bit of a break or just alleviating some of your work. So that way you're not overdoing it um, as well as, you know, everything else that's going on. We have the Domestico. So this is also the worker. I feel like you're almost like saying that you're taking time off of work. Um, I do feel like you could even be um, possibly taking your work home um, more so than, than normal. It might be just because you feel like you need to do that for yourself, Cancer. Um, it's just like you, you, it's like you're having to, um, it's not that you're taking your work home and it's interrupting your um, your family life. It's just that you're able to manage your time better and do a, a little bit more of, um, I feel like it's even like the traveling part. Like you could still work and travel at the same time. Like there will be that sense where you're still following up on emails and communicating with others, but you're not like in there in the trenches actually getting your hands dirty, but you're still very much a part of what's going on. So we also have, oh yes, and you know, this is another travel card. This is the Six of Swords. This is also, could be travel, could be movement, um, could even be that you're moving into a time that's more calm, um, beautiful, happier energy, not as stressed, because um, you're coming away from a time of turbulent waters here. And, you know, even though like this person in the boat doesn't look so happy, it's just like they know that there is this promise of what's to come here that they're going into. So I do feel like it's really, it's good energy. I feel like you're moving away possibly from somebody or, because you do have the La Nemica. So it could even be some of you are going through a breakup. Um, it could even be that you may have had a falling out with somebody, possibly a friend or a family member or somebody who um, you definitely feel like was not a good energy around you. It's like you had a falling out with them because you felt that it was necessary. Um, we do have the unknown rune. So this is the blank rune. So this rune is also telling us that, you know, it's like you're not sure about this movement forward. So like you're not sure if, you know, if this was the right move for you and if this was, um, or maybe if this is going to set this person off and make them, um, further do harm towards you in a way where you're feeling nervous and cautious. So um, I'm not sure what that means exactly, but I do sense here that the Three of Cups, and of course, you know, with this, the Three of Cups next to the Six of Swords, I'm sensing that, you know, you're, you're taking time to surround yourself with people who are lifting you up, but there is something that is still making you sad. Um, and there could be the situation that you're coming away from. It could be that, you know, even though if you're going through a breakup or if you're, you're falling out with somebody, you're still feeling a little sad. Um, you're still feeling a little sad over this, um, this situation that has happened. But, you know, it's also reminding you, you also have to be thankful for the things that you do have in your life. Um, even though your sadness is there, you know, you have to also acknowledge the people that are still around you and the people who still care for you, um, because it is important to, you know, also reciprocate that with them. Um, we also have here the Page of Swords, and the Page of Swords is with the Alegria, which is also celebration. Like these two cards here are almost like the same exact type of cards because they're all about raising their cups and celebrating and, and enjoying each other's company um, and being happy, um, like very celebratory. Of course, this month is all about celebrations and connecting and, you know, going to holiday outings and holiday parties and festivities and you know, exchanging gifts and feeling just like an overall feeling of peace and happiness. Um, but we do have the Page of Swords here, so I do feel like this could be an air sign, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, or even this could be just be communication that's going on, finding out some good news, um, possibly some good news that you're going to be celebrating as well. Um, because, you know, the Page of Swords comes in, it's something that is a messenger or messages are coming towards you. So you definitely could be celebrating some very good positive news that's coming in this month. 
Um, you could be finding out about something that is exciting and um, it's going to be uh, some new knowledge that is going to be, I feel like it's going to be definitely very positive because it's going to want to make you celebrate. So I do see here as well, there's the five of swords along with the stanza. So I do feel like there are those around you. There's still some negative energies around you, um, possibly somebody who has done you wrong um, because I feel like this energy is you here. If you look on this card, there is this man walking away and there's this man here holding the swords and like knowing, like he almost feels good about himself that, you know, he, he was able to um, like win the, you know, the battle in a way. And this man is walking away and the swords are all on the ground and, you know, he's walking away, you know, probably possibly wounded um, and, you know, having to, you know, walk away with no swords where this guy has almost like he's carrying like I don't know how many swords here three or four swords three swords and um he feels pretty good about himself so this is that energy as well I feel like you're still conflicted with um Scorpio there is like some negative energies around you that and I, I feel like it's possibly a situation that has happened in the past I don't feel like this is happening like this month um, for some of you, it could possibly still be ongoing. It's like, you know, this happened, but it's still like you're feeling the after effects of it because this person won't go away. It's like they feel like they constantly have to keep digging and constantly have to be like giving, like acknowledging, like acknowledging the fact that they're still in your environment. Um, and they, it's like, they're sending you messages that way. And that's why the stanza is here. It's like, they're, you know, they're not going away. Way. like they're still there it's almost like you're stuck in the room with them and you can't get out um it may actually be what's going on this month for some of you you may be stuck in the room with this person and having to like deal with that especially if you're at a holiday gathering and or a family gathering um where you see this person and you've had these bad um things that have happened in the past between you and like you're having to like pretend to get along and it's really tough and very hard to hold that energy together especially when it's like stressful and it just doesn't feel good and you're trying very hard to like not create any drama and just you know be kind mannered and but you know of course that's easier said than done and of course that can sometimes just weaken you so much to the point where you just have to you have to leave because you have to regain your energy it's just it just depletes you it's like sucks the energy out of you um we also have here the two of cups with the viaggio so it's interesting because you go from this five of swords energy to the two of cups <laughs> so two of cups is all about partnership and like connections and i feel like this is where we need to be focusing our energy. We also have the Viaggio, which is, you know, also taking trips and going on a journey. This could even be a new relationship that's forming here for you guys this month for some cancers. Um, it may be that you're finally taking the initiative to go after this person because you have this, um, you know, this, it could even be that you're traveling to go meet this person, or it could even be that you're taking the extra efforts to make things happen or make things work. So I, I do feel like that even for some of you that are already partnered, this could even be that you're having to make an extra effort to make things work between the two of you. Um, because there still is this very strong bond that's here and to not neglect that bond because I do feel like this is like a soul connection. It's not just a, you know, like these relationships that come and go. I feel like this is something that's very strong and has a lot of power to it, um, especially if you want to allow, if, it's really if you're willing to go the extra mile. And I feel like that's also a very important message here for you. We also have the fertility room. So I do feel like this is a very fertile time for this relationship to flourish and to blossom. Um, fertility is all about growth and, you know, planting new seeds and and um, watching things um, blossom and grow. It's like, it's beautiful, especially when it's in the beginning. So, and I do feel like whatever this is, it's possibly in the beginning phase or maybe you're in the beginning phases of 
putting this energy and thought into this connection. So I love that because there is this also this energy here of, you know, the, the Morte and the Hermit. So of course, with the Hermit, I do feel like there is this, you know, you're having to look within yourself to really gain your own guidance, um, listening to your intuition. Um, but you do have the Morte here. So I do feel like there are some situations here that are, you're still having to release and let go of because they've, they've ended. And I feel like they've ended, like you've already, you sh they should be buried and under the ground by now, but you're still holding on to them. Um, and these are energies from the past, of course. This, these are not things that are going on right now, but there are energies from the past that you need to, you know, reflect on. But the thing is that you have to understand that you need to release them. You can't hold on to this anger and this pain anymore. Um, it could even be that you have a loss um, possibly this month or even have suffered a loss this year where, you know, it could be a family member or somebody who is connected to you. Um, and, and I do feel for some of you, there is a loss of somebody that you, even if they're still alive, it's like it almost feels like they died. You know what I mean? It's like they're, even though like this person is still in your environment, you still see them. It's just that, but the thing is that you're not connected anymore in the same way. So it's almost like you're mourning that death. And I feel like you need to mourn it and you need to, um, and that's what I feel like the hermit energy is here for. It's telling you, you need to mourn this death, whatever this is, and you need to release it. It could be an actual death, but it, and I do feel for a lot of you, this is an actual relationship that came to an end with somebody, um, either love relationship, family or friend. Um, but the thing is that you have to understand that you have to release it. You can't hold on to this anymore because it's only blocking you from bringing in, you know, and creating this beautiful happiness and flourishing in with this beautiful good fortune that is coming your way. You want to grab this stuff. You really want to like get on that horse and go. But the thing is that you, you can't allow this to hold you back. And I feel like that's very important for you to hear for this month. Um, because we do have here the King of Cups, and I do feel like this is very much Cancer energy, um, or it could be another water sign, um, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, um, male energy, but I do feel like this could also be yours. Um, and I also feel like this could even be family, because, um, you know, usually the King of Cups is also a father figure. Um, it could be where you are together with family members like your father, um, surrounded by love and, you know, companionship, but you also have the conversation card here. So this is also about, you know, having heartfelt conversations with people that you care about. This is somebody who's very nurturing and loving. So whoever it is that you're having conversations, I feel like it's during the holidays and I feel like it's going to be something that's going to be very helpful for you. Um, and it's also going to feel very good because it's almost going to be like they are, um, giving you good, kind advice, um, and especially it's coming from a good place. It's coming from the heart. And, and I love that energy for you guys. And, you know, you do have the warrior and I feel like it's because it's connect to this warrior rune. It's about the struggles and the challenges that you've been through. And I believe that you will be discussing it and having conversations about it, but you will be receiving some guidance here where, you know, people are coming towards you with love and, um, and understanding it's not just about like you know oh this is the right thing to do you have to do this it's more about giving you guidance um, and helping you to make the right decisions and also you know know that you're, not, you're doing the right things and also to you know su be supportive of you and all the challenges that you've been through all right well i'm also going to pull a couple more cards for you cancers let's see what we have from the Wisdom of the Oracle cards. I'm gonna pull one card for you guys to see what message is coming through to give extra clarification for December of 2019 for Cancer. And I love this, oh my gosh. This card, it says go the distance. And I'm just looking at the other cards here because I do feel like this is a very um, beautiful card for you guys to get this month because this is also about going after it. Um, going after things that are going to make you happy and bring you good fortune because, you know, even with the 
even with the Knight of Wands, you know, here, I do feel like this is, you know, reinforcing that energy where you have to go the distance, get on that horse, go after it. Um, you know, what is it that makes you happy? What is it that you're excited about? Um, and of course, you know, do it with excitement. Don't do it like where as if you're holding yourself back, you know, go after it full fledged. Don't like hold back. Um, and I feel like that is an important message for you cancers. Like this is like, even if you have to go the distance to do it, you might have to travel somewhere far to make this um, happen. Um, for you cancers, I do feel like you're going to have to actually um, travel and make that effort to make this um, connection work. And I also have, interesting, I, I this card comes up and I always feel like it's not a very negative card. This is actually um, very similar to the devil card in the tarot deck. Um, it's addict. And this is about, um, you know, recognizing and acknowledging your addictive behaviors um, because sometimes we don't even see them. Um, it's just that it's something that you... It could be that sometimes, you know, of course there's, you know, drinking and eating, overeating, like, but those are like commonly known, like drugs and alcohol is common known addictions, but there's other addictions that are not like something that everybody talks about. Like, you know, you could have a major addiction to um, social media and you could have a major addiction to um, watching, um, binge watching, you know, a TV show that, you know, you have a thousand other things to do, but this is an addiction of yours. Like everybody has their own vices. And I feel like we all have this in us. And of course, it's just acknowledging them and not allowing them to control you. And your addictions, of course, if you do um, allow them to control you, they go into the shadow attribute here. It's compromises integrity and honesty. It allows an addictive pattern to have authority over your inner spirit. So you just definitely don't want to allow your addictions to control you. It's like, yes, we all have them. Everybody has addictions to some level and to some extent but you know it's also controlling them and not allowing them to control you that's the key I'm also going to pull a healing crystal for you guys to see what healing energy you need to focus on this month all right cancer what healing energy do you guys need to know about oh and we have Aventurine. I love this stone. It's such a pretty green stone. And this one is very much connected to the heart, sh um, heart chakra. This is all about opening up your heart chakra um, and sh being able to share love and, um, and also welcome new love in as well and not being so guarded. Um, this is also a stone that's very good with self-confidence and um, positivity. I do feel like it's um, a very good stone for you guys this month. I, I feel like especially as you're going after the things that you want, like you want to, um, you know, open up your heart chakra and you want to be more welcoming and more loving and more kind hearted. So it's, you know, also about sharing love with others and also opening up your heart to this two of cups energy here because that is beautiful. I love how that's coming through for you guys for this month. Um, definitely comment below. I would love to hear how this resonates with you. Um, also, don't forget to like and also share um, with anybody that you know would benefit from our videos. And um, if you're not already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and also the notification bell on the side. If you are um, a local to Connecticut area, you can also book a personal reading with me. Um, and the links are below, or you can also find my personal YouTube channel where you can find your weekly um, tarot horoscopes as well. All right, guys, have a wonderful month um, and have a very happy holiday and safe holiday. And I will see you again in the new year. Take care. Bye.